hard work, you know, it's no matter how much talent the person has or how many contacts they have, you still have to put the work in, you know, and that's what a yeah. lot of people forget <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. Talent only takes you so far, but definitely um, it is work, but I love what I do. Like, I feel so ridiculous, like ridiculously lucky. I love this. I love talking to you. I love talking about like, like, it's just so nice. You know, some people don't like promo. I love promo. You get to talk to really nice people about things you love. And then like you have photo shoots sometimes and then you get on stage and then you get in the studio. Like everything about it, honestly, is so, it's just, it's just amazing. Like I, I, I'm a very lucky person, I think. Yeah, it's funny when you say about promo and stuff. I was actually going to ask you that because the last time yeah. we've talked, you always start uh, um, copying my accent, which is always fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Should you I... could you couldn't help yourself the last time. I remember that. I know. I try to be better at it because some people are like, "What is she doing?" You know, um, it's just such a nice accent, isn't it? <laughs> it's just very wanna... fine. Do you want to practice now? Do you want to say, hi, I'm Zara Larson and I'm from Belfast? Hi, I'm Zara Larson and I'm from Belfast. Oh, you're a native. It's perfect. I'm a native. <laughs> <laughs> thank well, you. Thank you. Great. Plus, you've had good times over in Belfast, haven't you? I remember you, you've yeah. done shows and you've loved it. I have. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I can't wait to come back. Hopefully, you know, when this next project comes out after I'll have some festival uh, dates in the summer. I will, you know, release the album and go on a proper tour. Yeah. And I'll absolutely swing swing by Belfast and have an amazing show. And well done you about taking control of your catalog as well. That's a uh, good feeling. It's amazing. I'm so happy that I got that opportunity. Not a lot of artists get that. Um, and I have to say it was all thanks to Ola Hoakianson, who was running my record company that I was signed to and he wanted to sell everything off and he, you know, just wanted to retire. And um, he's just a really big person. And, and I think he didn't care about the money. He cared about having a, a good reputation and for me to like, like him, you know, cause he could have sold it anywhere else. And he gave me a really, really, really good deal. He mm. basically said, here, here they are for free. <laughs> Not really, but like in <laughs> comparison to what he could have done, he, it was extremely generous right. and I think he just wanted me to be happy because we've seen how you know Taylor Swift and that whole situation like it's not fair it's not nice um it's it's a dirty game and uh he wanted to give me that power so the fact that I was you know even given the opportunity to to do that feels incredible because now I I'm like I'm like I'm a boss yeah. You know, yeah, <laughs> I exactly. got like I own my stuff, and even the songs I didn't write, and it goes all the way back to the very beginning of my career. Which, mm. by the way, I released my first song a couple of days ago. It was ten years ago. Wow! And it's just yes, like my first song on cover. It was it's 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 insane. Like it's been ten years, and I'm only twenty five. So you know, we're gonna we're gonna do this for a a, a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, and that that ownership, and because you're the boss now, as you say, I mean, yeah. that gives you wonderful artistic control now as well. You can do exactly okay. what you like, which is superb. Yeah, no, it's it's incredible. I feel really, really lucky that I'm able to do that. Yeah, absolutely. There's nobody telling you what to do. <laughs> right, right. No, no, <laughs> not here. <laughs> Listen to Zara. So when you're doing that tour and you've got your dancers and you've got your musicians yeah. and all that, I mean, you're in charge of, of that as well. But I'm, I would imagine that's the best part of your job is to hit the road and perform. Yeah. No, 100 percent. I, I, you know, as I said, I love everything I do. But like being on stage, being live is why I do all this. Like I'm a performer at heart. Yeah. I want to be on stage and I like to entertain people. So um, if I could pick anything of all the things I'm doing, just give me a microphone, put me in front of people and I'll be happy. That's the way it should be really. And you do it, yeah. you do it so well as well. Now, I still haven't come over to Stockholm. We talked about that, oh. I haven't made it yet. Come here. What is it about that city and about Swedish people when it comes to making perfect pop records? <laughs> can, can you nail what it is? 
Yeah, no, it's it's a good question that I've been asking myself a lot of times. I think it's so many it's so many factors. I think I'm just you know happy to be um, Swedish because there's been so many people before me that have kind of like paved the way. Yeah. As as soon as there's one, there's gonna be two, and if there's two, it's gonna be three. And once you once you get to like a lot of people doing pop and and writing pop and producing pop, uh, people will gain respect for like Swedish people making pop so me coming to like other places in the world and saying you know oh, hi I'm I'm Swedish and I do pop I think they automatically take me a little bit more serious um <laughs> and why it's like that you know I don't know maybe because I don't think we're like naturally more talented I do think we are given an opportunity to um to make art in general, like get money from the state. And, um, you know, so we don't have to be worried about like not live on the street. If we want to do something that is nurturing to our, our heart and soul, which art is, I think it's really important for society to like invest in art um, because you, you'll gain so much out of it. And it might seem like it's not important um, because it's not contributing, but it really is. So I think Sweden's been very good with that. Um, and just allowing people to like express their art, I think. And then, you know, as I said, it's been happening for so many years now that it's kind of like, it's, it's easier for me to do it than, um, somebody maybe 50 years ago. Yeah, definitely. And that was, that was a very good, profound answer there yeah. by the way so i'm gonna flip it completely no i like your lump by the way very nice <laughs> thank you very good yes, yeah. nice. Thanks. thank you i love noticing that people's backgrounds on zoom mine at the minute yeah. over there is a pile of yeah. washing by the way right That's why we're so this is your anonymous minute. little corner anonymous corner perfect <laughs> i love that yeah <laughs> john are you gonna play my new song um what's it called can't tame her is it any good it's very good right you see you've only it's got 7.7 million instagram followers so yeah come back when you have more <laughs> it's a future number one you're gonna want to play it. i believe you i'll play it <laughs> let's go